I've got a lot to catch you up on today. We've made a big name signing. I've made a rookie mistake, which is leading us into quite serious money issues. And we've got a big game today against fourth in the table Petrojet. All that is coming up in today's episode of Homeless to Hero. Hello people, welcome to episode 4 of Homeless to Hero, my worldwide journeyman save where we can go anywhere in the world, but I can't look at any players or any staff's attributes, they're all greyed out, they're all just blocks, you'll see in a second, so yep, it's proving to be quite a challenge. Like I said, we've made another rookie mistake, which has pushed us a lot over our wage budget. We'll have a look at that in a minute. We've made a big name signing in the middle of all that as well. And we'll have a look at the results since the last episode. And then we'll get on to today's game against fourth in the table, Petrojet. And so, before we do get into all of that, let's have a look at the big name signing. And of course, being in Egypt, we've got to have a Mohamed Salah. Unfortunately, it's not the one from Liverpool. Although this guy is 17 and does play on the right wing. So the same, same position as old Liverpool's Mohamed Salah. And you can see what I mean here about not being able to see anybody's attributes. We've, ju we've just got a very, very, very vague idea. This guy is determined. He's got uh, apparently decent acceleration. He's 6 foot, 10 stone 9. And we picked him up um, just from just from like the regens. He popped up as a trialist. We gave him a couple of games and he did okay. So we have decided to sign him. We've got him on a £5 uh, appearance fee contract. So yep, very happy with that deal. Big name signing, you never know. Hopefully some Egyptians might get confused and they might buy our shirts and give us some more money just because of his name. You never ever know. But now, on to my uh, rookie mistake part two. So you know how in the last episode I told you about how before that we'd only had two players on proper contracts. And I then put everyone else on contracts. That went okay. Because everyone was on deals similar to this. £5, a week, five pound for appearance fee. £1 for a clean sheet. And yep, that's for the goalkeeper. And all our players are on contracts similar to that. Like Amar Rayouf, our star striker. Let's have a look. What deal was he on? Yep, see, same again. £5 appearance, a pound if we don't use him. And so, yeah, that was all well and good. And so, you know what? I had a brainwave. I went, oh, you know what? I'll put everybody in the club on a deal like that. I'll just sign everybody up to contracts like that. And it went okay for the reserves. Because you can see here, they're all on non-contracts. So, yep, all pretty good. Like, have a look at this fella. What is he on? Hussein Abdel Halim. Yep, exactly the same as Amar Rayouf. Everyone's pretty much on that, if not exactly on the same deal. So that's all well and good. Reserves went all right. And you can kind of already see a couple here that is starting to cause the issues. Walid Abdul Hamid. He was in our under-18s. He's got fantastic hair, by the way. Can I bring this picture up bigger? Love that hair. But yeah. So you can see that he is on a £25 a week deal. No matter what. Doesn't matter if he plays. Doesn't matter if we don't use him as a sub. He is on that contract. As is this fella here. Gamel Sami. He's again another 15 year old. He's got quite a moustache for a 15 year old. I'm loving the effort there my man. Well done. But if we then go to the proper under 18s. They're all on deals like that. There's even a couple or three 
that are on £45 a week deals. I worked it out earlier. We're paying like £400 a week just for the youth team, which is quite ridiculous. I'm just hoping some of these might turn out to be good. Like, let's have a look at this guy. Amar Sabre. He is a central midfielder, naturally. And what do our coaches think? Uh, he could improve a lot. Balanced and normal personality. He's got a bit of pace. And, well, that's about it. I don't think that's worth £45 a week. I, mean, I didn't have a choice in these contracts, by the way. They was all greyed out. So I just went I just went and selected all of them. And then I just went off a contract, off a contract, off a contract. And next thing I know, they're all popping up on these huge money deals. And they're probably not even going to play for us in the first team. So, yeah. So that kind of means... Now, if I can find the right screen, and if I can load up, that would be nice. So, yeah, is it Club Vision we want to be on? Nope, it's finances. There you go. Our wage budget is £321 a week. We are currently spending £1,000 a week. So, we are £679 a week over the wage budget. And we have now just fallen into the red. That's despite having a friendly in the last few days that got us a grand and a half. We've still fallen into the red. And I don't think our projection has caught up just yet. Because it's saying it's not too bad. It's saying that by the end of next season, we'll be, we'll be in quite a bit of profit. And after that, we'll be in a lot of profit. But... I want to see what this says in a couple of months when the accountants get to have another look and they realise just how much we're spending on wages. Because, yeah, not ideal. And so let's catch you up with what's been going on with the results since we've last been together. It has not gone well. It's been very, very up and down. You was with me for this game against Al Nasri. Uh, or Al Nazar, and yeah, lost that one 3 0. But then after that, we had a cracking game 5 3 win against Sirs El Lyan. Absolutely mad game, back and full full game. But thankfully, we managed to win it in the end. Amar Rayouf with another cracking game. He's scored five goals since he's got a full time contract. I think he's in double figures. I'll double check that after I've recorded this. And I'll pop it up on the screen for what he's actually got for the season. And so, yeah, that was a good game. We then followed that up with a 2-0 win in a friendly just to keep the morale up. But then we definitely had the January Blues. Because you can see here, we played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do, 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 do. We played 5 games. 1, 0. 0 of them. We lost 2-0 to El Zarqua in uh, the league. We then drew a friendly against Tutankhamun FC. 1-1. One, one. We then drew in the league against Zed. 1-1, one, one. and where are Zed in the league? We'll have a look at that in a minute. And then we drew another friendly against Pyramid Academy, 0-0. Nil, nil. That one, we pretty much just used a mixture of the first team and a mixture of trialists to get a look at them. And well, you can see it didn't go well, but talking about not going well, we went back to a... Well, no, actually, was that the first time we'd used a 4-3-3? Yeah, we used a 4-3-3 for the first time since before I took over, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, where did I take over? I took over there. Yeah so, yeah, so for the first time since our second game in charge, we tried a 4-3-3. And I shan't be doing that again. Because 6-0 defeat, we was terrible in this game. One of the worst games I've had in a long time on FM. We just couldn't get a foot on the ball. We just couldn't get anywhere near these. And yeah, terrible performance. 6-0 defeat. 
we then went back to the 4-4-1-1, which had kind of been working for us. You can see it got us a couple of wins in December and in November as well. So we went back to that, and this was another mental game. 4-3 against Porto Suez, the team who beat us in our first game in charge. So, yeah, 4-3 win, absolutely mad game. Amal Rayouf getting us the win in the 81st minute. So, relief all round there. And then after that, we had a 4-1 defeat against Canar in the league. And then we've just lost a friendly 3-0. But this is the friendly against a team who I think are in a league above us. Um, no, they're not. They're, they're in a similar level to us. And we lost 3-0 to them. That was supposed to keep us out of going into the red, but did not happen. And so, yeah, that was disappointing. But that takes us to today's game. As things kick off, we are 13th in the league. A win today could take us up to 12th, depending on what happens with El Merike. And Petrojet are 4th. So, yeah, this, um, so, yeah, could be a difficult game. And Zed a second. We said we was going to have a look at them. And so, yeah. Diff could be a difficult game today. But let's have a look and see what we're doing for this game today. Like I say, 4-4-1-1. We've got Sabre in goal. Rida on the left. Nabil on the right. Hani and Fahim in the middle. And then Abdul Wahab, arguably our star man on the left wing. Belibi, who's on a £200 appearance deal. Yep, you can see him there. You can see there by the yellow. He's probably one of our best players. He's been capped twice for Cameroon under-21s, for Christ's sake. Or under-20s, even. So, he should be decent. And, yep, so we've got him playing as a Mazala on support. We've got Salem as a central midfielder on defence. And Mohamed Salah on the right wing. And then Abu Musalem behind Amar Rayouf up top. And we're going sort of passing. Try and keep hold of the ball. Dribble a bit less. Work the ball into the box. Higher line of engagement. And yep, all of that good stuff. And so let's get into the game. Okay, here we are in the dressing room. Let's see... I'm going to say, go out there and show the world you've got what it takes. And that's got most of them motivated. I do like that. So hopefully, might be a good sign that we might be able to get a decent result today. Come on, you Coca-Cola. First highlight of the game, and we are just about nine minutes in. It's Petrojet in the, in the black with the free kick. Bassi crosses it into the box and oh, that could have been a dodgy one for our keeper. 20 minutes and it looks like it's Petrojet again. They've gone long over the top of our defence. Bassi into the box and Nabil very coolly playing it back to our keeper. And now Sabre, short to Fahim. He's gone long, why? I've told you to play short balls, you idiots. Why are you doing that? But thankfully, it does not affect us too much. And they've done it again. Why are they doing it again? I swear I've not told these to lump it forward to our target man. As now, Ayman, Gabra for Petrojet. Or Gabra, I think it's probably his name. He's crossed it into the box. That's a very nice pass. And their guy, Ahmed Rayouf, has given Petrojet the lead with what I think it said was his 16th of the season. Oh, that was far too simple. I was told before the game, maybe try a lower defensive line. I ignored it and I've ignored it at my peril. And oh, it's hit the post and just fallen over the line. Oh, oh, are they saying this might have been offside? No, he was a mile on. Even I knew he was on. Yet again, it's another Petrojet highlight. And all, all I thought that was going to be 2-0 then. I thought a Rayouf for them was again going to get the ball in the back of the net. Half an hour gone. We have had precisely sod all in this game as it's 2-0. Mac mood, I man. Ah, oh, this. This ain't going well, is it, boys? We'll have a look at this on the replay. 
and then we shall think about making some tactical changes. Because, yeah, far too simple, that. Just a nice, easy cross, simple header. Are they saying this is offside? No. But I, I do thank these referees for trying to help us, but no, it's never offside. And now let's give that a pause. Let's see what tactical subs we can we can make or what tactical changes. Have I told these to lump it forward? No, I haven't. So I don't know why they are. But I don't know because we've only been caught out once. Now what? We are going to go lower defensive line. Standard line of engagement. Uh, hit early crosses. Uh, run at defence. Be more expressive. And maybe standard width. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, lads. 2-0 down. Come on. We've got to do something to turn this around. Oh, one more highlight before half-time. It's Bassi with it. And, oh. Islam Slam has made me slam me mouse on the desk. Let's get back to the game. Oh, this job is challenging, people. This job is challenging. I... I don't know what's gone on there. That's way too easy again. Again, are they, this is not offside. Please stop trying to say every goal is offside. Well, you can see it there on the half-time stats. Nine shots to our two. Six on target to our none. XG of 1.29. We've apparently had more of the ball, though. Don't quite see how that can be true. Seeing as how we've not had one single highlight. I'm going to go hands on hips. I'm going to go you've been unlucky. Just try and get some kind of morale going. And now, do we go 4-2-3-1? Do we go 4-2-3-1? Yeah, we do. Let's try this. In inside forward, attack, Salah. Doing the same. And then I think get Rayouf to be a deep line forward. Get him to try and get involved with the game a little bit more. And I think that is going to be how we're going to leave it for the minute. Let's go, let's go back into the dressing room and let's go on to the second half. An hour gone. Still no highlights for us. Ayman to Sofi. And that's gone over the top and Fahim heads it away. And now Abdul Wahab with the ball. He's got a man in space if he can see him. Can he? Nope, he's gone short to Salem. Still, we're working our way over there. Rayouf, get it. Ah, oh, Rayouf had a chance there to get us going. Salem into Belibi. Can he make me a Belieber? Abu Mosalem, Salah. Come on, Salah, run at him. Abu Mosalem with a long shot and oh... It's a highlight. I'll take it. All right, then. We've got 15 minutes left. We've made a couple of subs and a couple of tactical changes yet again. We've brought on El Saik up front in place of Abu Moslem. So we're now going 4-2-4. And we've taken Mohamed Salah off for Amar Walid. 3-0 down. 15 minutes left. A goal. All I want is a goal, people. Please just give me a goal. And, well, we've got another highlight. Well, he'd nodge it down, but it's gone away. This might actually turn out to be a highlight for Petrojet. As Ray Oof now. Masali. And back to him. And now they're keeping the ball between themselves. El Coot with the ball. Are we going to be able to win it back? Almost. But Ali has it now. Goes to Ray Oof again. Back to Elku. He's got a man on the left if he wants him. No, he doesn't. And now, come on, let's just win the ball back. Ali with the long shot and that's four. Oh. It was a joke when I, when I took this job on. I thought it'd be a laugh. I thought, I thought we'd be here a couple seasons and we'll be able to turn them around quite quick. No, this is going to be a long, long-term job. Well, that's how the game is finished. 4-0 defeat. Petrojet, much, much the better side. 
11 shots to our 8, 7 on target to our none, none. 4 corners to our 1, 1 1.4 XG to our 0.45. The only stat we did well in is keeping the ball, but what good is it when you can't get it in the back of the net? Rolos. And so, mm, I'm going to go hands in pockets. I'm going to say I'm not happy. And that's got all the lads motivated. And so, let's have a look at the league table. And then we'll decide when we're coming back for the next episode. Okay, so, that leaves us in 13th place out of 16. We've played 25 games. We've only got 5 games left to play. We'll probably come back for the last game of the season. Not that I think it's going to mean that much. But last game of the season, hopefully, might get a win. And so, that leaves Petrojet also in fourth. And yeah, let's just see who we've got to play on the last day of the season. And then, we shall leave you for today. Alright then, so, our last game of the season is going to be against Tanta at home. I'd be surprised if we get a win between now and the end of the season. But do come back for that last game of the season. Uh, I have been TaylorMade Gaming. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content. And smack that bell as well so you never miss when a video does come out. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. No! Old, old name. Oh, force of habit. Follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. Taylor Made Gaming is the name now. I, I'm going to stop doing that. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bonjour.